Welcome back to Warrior FPV. Uh, well, I mentioned my truck earlier and it's finally the time. It is the time to do some modifications. Yes, sir. And as an engineer, that's always a fun thing. So with no further ado, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. And my very first mod, besides I, you know, I did the, removed my air dam off the front. That was easy, but this is an add-on. And I think it's gonna bring a lot of value to the truck um, and what I wanna use it for. So let's Down get on there. with it. We are going to add rock sliders. So uh, let's do it. So this is the product I'm using. It's from Infab, it's rock sliders they create for the Colorado. It does have a portion that frame mounts. That was important to me. I'll show you that in a bit, but let's, get those suckers open and see what they look like. I'll lay them out so you can see them. I'm not gonna unbox them for you because, well, it's just a box. So let's do it. I'll show you what we got. Well, they boxed it well, that's for sure. So here's the uh, rock slider right here. I believe it's called the trail slider, the NFAP trail slider. But I was wrong. I thought it was only one mounting point on the frame, but there's actually two. You can see the other one right there. So we have two frame mounting points, which makes me really, really happy that there's two of those. All right, let's get this show on the road. Uh, I've got the rock slider laid out for you so you can see how it looks. Um, it looks pretty straightforward. I'm not too worried. The bolts, I don't think it's gonna be that hard to get out. We gotta take two frame bolts. The rest of it, you know, it's popping a few plugs out, putting a few clips in. The hardest part is I'm by myself, so it's gonna be holding this uh, thing in place. But I'm gonna use a floor jack to help me with it, because it, it is pretty darn heavy, to be honest. Um, but it's well built, I have to admit, so. Let's do it. Let's see how this goes. And uh, hopefully, you know, there's no injuries or any blood or, you no, know, nah, just kidding. It should be just fine. Okay, first things first. We gotta take off the body nuts, the bolts, sorry, body bolts holding them down. There's two positions, one there and one towards the front. And then the next thing we're gonna do is pop off these little caps. Uh, actually wrong side, sorry. Right here, so we can put clips in here. Let's get the body bolts out first. First body bolts out. Now for the next one. And let's scoot on down. There we go. Second body bolts out. This is discarded according to the instructions, which makes sense. So it's gone. Now we got to pull these little caps out like that. Those uh, cover the holes that we need to actually put the clips in. So I'm going to pull these little caps out. Ow. Yeah, that's that. So the next thing we have, sorry, the rocket bars in my way, is these little clips have got to go in those holes. 
those are your nuts on the back side that the uh, body mounts go to. Um, and then uh, you've got two frame mounts and I think about eight body mounts. So let's get those things in. Basically they just slide in the hole and line up with the small hole so that the bolt goes through there into the nut. It's pretty straightforward. One thing I'd recommend is just be careful when you go slide those in that you don't accidentally push it up inside the body because that would suck. I don't know how you'd get it out. old man out. I'm not as spry as I used to be. Okay, let me show you what I did so you can see. Okay, right there. See that? I just clipped it in so the holes line up and then that's on the back side. It's just a matter of uh, putting the bolts in. And there's two. So now we're just going to put the bolts with the washers in. That's this little baggie here. So I'm gonna finish getting all those in and I'll come back with this. So <laughs> took me a minute, but I got it done. And it looks fantastic, man. I am happy about that. Look at that. I scuffed it a little bit, but it's going to get that way anyway. I don't know if I scuffed it or it got scuffed in shipping that way. But boy, does it change the look of that truck. Yeah, I like it. So, very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is, well, this is my first big mod that I was doing. I mean, this one is a pretty easy one. It's just putting on the sliders. A little bit of work, um, but easier if I had a couple other tools that I needed that I'm unfortunately were pilfered from me. But that's all right, I got through it. Would have been easier if I had a little bit of a lift. Hmm, a little bit of a lift. Maybe just a couple inches. 
maybe that's something I'll do. I hope you learned something from this and you know what? I did. So I wish you all the best. Warrior FPV out.